Let's take a look at how to divide fractions and mixed numbers up to 1 16th. Gabriel is prescribed a medication and supposed to take an eighth of a pill each day. If he has five eighths of a pill left, how many days of medication are left? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or as a whole or mixed number. Okay, well if we take the total amount that he has left, which is five eighths of a pill, and we divide that by how much he's supposed to take every day, which is one eighth of a pill, that should tell us how many days he has remaining of his medication. Right, the amount divided by how much he takes each day should tell us how many days. Now the rule when you're dividing with fractions is to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so when you do that, the first fraction stays the same. I'm going to leave that as 5 over 8. You switch it from division to multiplication, so I'm going to draw my multiplication sign. And then the reciprocal is the multiplicative inverse of the other fraction, or what you get when you flip it. So if I flip 1 over 8, I wind up with 8 over 1. Now you can multiply straight across the way that this is, or if you notice that you have a factor of 8 on the top and a factor of 8 on the bottom, you can cancel that out and it leaves us with 5 over 1. And of course, 5 divided by 1 is just 5. Okay, now this should make sense. If he takes an eighth of a pill each day, he can take an eighth for 5 days and that would be 5 eighths of a pill. Okay, so he has five days of medication remaining. Jaden is an alien who only wears fractions of socks at a time. If only six-sevenths of Jaden's socks are clean and he wears three-sevenths of a sock a day, how many days has it been since he washed all of his socks? All right, well, if he has six-sevenths of a sock clean, and we divide that by how much he wears every day, which is 3 sevenths, that should tell us how many days since he washed his socks. Okay, well our rule is to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so that means we're going to set this up as a multiplication problem. The first fraction stays the same, right? We switch the division to multiplication. And then since we switched it, we have to do the inverse or reciprocal of 3 over 7, which is going to be 7 over 3. Now you can multiply straight across the top and the bottom, or if you notice you have a factor of 7 on the top and the bottom, you can cancel that out to make our multiplication a little easier. And now we wind up with just 6 over 3, and if you divide that, 6 divided by 3, we wind up with 2. So it's been two days since Jaden washed all of his socks. An iced tea recipe, two seventh liters of iced tea are made per cup of sugar. If you're making six sevenths of a liter of iced tea, how many cups of sugar will you need? Okay, simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or as a whole or mixed number. All right, well, if we take how much we're making, which is six sevenths of a liter, and we divide that by how many liters are made per cup of sugar, which is two sevenths, that should tell us how many cups of sugar we need. Okay, and remember, anytime you're dividing a fraction by a fraction, you wanna multiply by the reciprocal Or another way to say that is multiply by the multiplicative inverse. Okay, so we're going to take that first fraction, leave it the way it is, 6 over 7. We're going to change our division to multiplication. And then since we change the sign, we need to take the inverse or the reciprocal of 2 over 7, which is going to be 7 over 2. Okay, well we can cancel out the factor of 7 on the top and the bottom. So when we multiply straight across, this would leave us with 6 over 2, and 6 divided by 2 is just 3. OK, 
Okay, so they would need three cups of sugar for, for that iced tea. 